Hey everyone, uh, Sleepy Reader here with a little thank you video to uh, A Comic Book Mom and Rorschach's Journal. I received my winnings from their Avengers vs. X-Men contest, which I won in a random drawing. Um, but it's fantastic. I came home uh, Thursday before the 4th of July to this huge box stuffed with comic books. I kept trying to figure out who do I know from Ohio. And just before I opened the box, I realized I know a comic book mom and Rorschach's journal, Craig and Audrey, must live in Ohio. Um, and I was amazed at how heavy the box was. And everything was packed up really nicely, wrapped in lots of plastic. I unwrapped it. And I tried to make an earlier video. I'll tell you why that went really bad. So she, comic book mom or... Uh, Craig wrapped it up really nicely, packed it up very securely. And first thing that I pulled out were these toys. Um, the Hulk, they came in these little bags. The Hulk and Captain America. And my daughter and I ended up playing th with them immediately for about four hours. They're not just squishy and stretchy. Urgh. They have these little balls in them, and if you shake them, it, the, the movement starts a light flashing. You can tell the Hulk is angry when that light is flashing. And the little ball can move around the body. Go down into the leg, for instance. Um, so pretty amazing. And my daughter liked them a lot. I'm going to look for some more. Um, I'm not really sure what they're called other than Super, they say superhero squad on them, but I don't know what you call the Wibbly Buddy. They're Wibbly Buddies. Um, quite cool. Um, kids, four, my daughter's four, three, four, two, three, four-year-olds, I think would love these, maybe five-year-olds too. Um, I'm hoping there might be some with some female superheroes. My daughter loves, prefers her, her superheroes female. She loves Wonder Girl and Sue Storm from the Fantastic Four, Batgirl. Um, that's what she wants. But she was okay with the Hulk. She pretended, I had to pretend to be the Hulk, and she pretended to be Captain America. And we also had Sue Storm play the game. But, um, and then the next thing I found in the box was this incredible drawing of Captain America. I assume it's drawn by um, Rorschach's journal by Craig. I know he draws. And, you know, for a for what is probably a quick little sketch, that's that's you know amazingly good. Uh, can't wait to see what some of his other artwork. And there's a quote here from Steve Rogers on it. And there's a I don't know how many comic books are here. You know, off the top of my head, I'd say 30, 40, 50 comic books. Probably about 30 or 40. Uh, and it's it's the Avengers stack that I got. So this must be from a I guess from a previous. Or from a free comic book day? I don't know. I missed this one. If it was this year, maybe it was from last year. And then we've got um, some Avengers Assemble. And Avengers Academy. And the good thing is, you know, while I've read a lot of Avengers of the past, I haven't kept up with the Avengers the past few years. I've read some of the Bendis Avengers in trades, so I might have a little bit of this. But mostly, it'll be new to me. And I'm thinking about jumping back on the Avengers bandwagon uh, soon, so this will help me help me decide what I'm interested in. Uh, so, a lot of stuff from Fear itself. There's two Avengers Academy, Young Avengers, Avengers Children Crusade, some Captain America, the first Avenger. Um, I'm not sure what this is. This looks like some special one-off Captain America poster book. Uh, Captain America Heroes Return, and a reprint of a really old Jack Kirby, Stan Lee, 1960s Captain America that retells his origin with great, I, I, like, I love it when uh, Jack Kirby's inked by Sid Shores, That's, that was a very good style. And this, this feels like one I can actually read to my daughter. Um, then uh, different types of Avengers, Black Panther versus Luke Cage, this looks really cool. And I think I've got all four of this um, Hawkeye miniseries. So this was, a, this was an incredible contest haul. I can't believe how good it was. Um, 
So the first time I made a few days ago, I made a video. And my daughter was involved because not only did she love these toys, but she was very intrigued by the idea of someone named a comic book mom. And then I explained to her that I was Sleepy Reader. And we made up a, uh, her own uh, comic book community name, which would be Quacking Duck. And we made another. So uh, B, that's my daughter, was in on the video talking to you guys while I was showing the comic books. But then she accidentally ripped the arm right off of Captain America. So we're going to have to get another one of these. And then she fell off my lap and smashed her head on the side of uh, my desk. So uh, that, that video went by the wayside. Uh, but she's also recorded a special message to a comic book mom, which I will post shortly. I'm sorry, I didn't say what I'm showing. There's, so after, some Captain, after the Hawkeye, all four Hawkeyes were this Captain America Corps, a couple of Captain America Corps, and then there's a lot of different Thors, and I love Thor, and again have kind of dropped off of Thor, and this would be a good jumping back on point for me. This short series called Astonishing Thor, issue two, issue three, issue four, and then suddenly it says five of five. So I think they suddenly decided to uh, cut that series off short, I'm guessing. And some Mighty Thor from Fear Itself and Shattered Heroes. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward, I'm definitely really looking forward to delving into the Thor. More and more Mighty Thor. And... Um, more Mighty Thor, Mighty Thor, Thor, and then something that's got me even more interested is uh, the Journey into Mystery, which, as many of you may know, was the original name of the magazine that Thor appeared in, and then they changed it to Thor, but kept the numbering, and I guess now they've picked up Journey to Mystery, continuing the numbering, so you get Journey to Mysteries, even though it's sort of a new series that are in the 600s, this is 622. I believe it has great artwork. I believe it's going to be sort of older backstory of Thor and Loki, and I, I think I understand from what I've heard people talking about it that a lot of it's about Loki, so I'm really into that. I love Lord, Norse mythology. So stuff that, that you know, is more Asgard-focused and, and sort of retelling of the mythological stuff uh, really appeals to me, which... I'm thinking some of this will be. Um, so I'm really psyched. This was incredible. And I still have a package that will be coming from uh, uh, Captain Cummings. <coughs> so I've been winning a lot of contests. I think for a while I'll do, if I do entries to contests, I'll say I don't, I don't want to be actually entered. <coughs> At least until I catch up on all my reading. Or if someone's giving away Commandy or something. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm very psyched about having so many Journey into Mysteries. And uh, I... A any of you who don't uh, check out A Comic Book Mom, uh, Rorschach's journal, he hasn't really been posting a whole lot. Uh, but A Comic Book Mom, and sometimes joined by Craig, by Rorschach, uh, does great reviews. I recommend anyone who likes likes listening to a real person review the comics they've been reading to uh, check out a comic book mom if you haven't. Um, so that's my winnings. I will post another little message from my daughter to a comic book mom. Um, thanks a lot for the toys. She loved them and, and so now we've discovered something new we can go out and get. Uh, thanks to me, she loves <laughs> superheroes and loves uh, getting superhero figures and things she can play with. So that's really great. Talk to you guys all soon.